Welcome to the Art Project. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I decided I wanted to learn how to write in graffiti. So I went to YouTube. I looked up graffiti alphabet. I came across Dell the Airbrusher. In his video, he talked about a link in the description to a PDF that I could print out. And so I did. And I used this PDF to practice uh, drawing block letters and graffiti letters. Once I had it printed out, I uh, laid it down next to my sketchbook and I followed the instructions at the bottom of the uh, paper here. Just draw the bones of the letter, in this case the letter A. Then you're going to outline it and then you're going to, well you're going to um, sketch around each one of those lines and then you're going to outline that. And so here I am just writing the bones, basically uh, kind of fancier type print than I normally would do. Just give it some flair. It takes a little uh, practice to develop the finesse. Once I did that part, I went around each part and turned it into sort of what I call a plank around each piece of it. As you get better and know what you're doing, you don't have to go around each piece separately, uh, but sometimes it's helpful. And then I outlined that with a Sharpie pen or a Micron Artist pen. And then after I had done several of the letters, I erased the middle of the letters. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. So then I decided to trace the parts of the B. And I traced the C and the D and so on. One of the things that you'll find is that the first time you do it, it's going to look really awkward, really clunky. Uh, mine doesn't look as bad because I've practiced art in a lot of ways. Uh, I've done block letters for years. I've just never really tried to copy someone else's graffiti. And so I've got uh, a little bit of skills in my pocket. And so it's a little bit easier for me. Yours, if this is the first time you've done it, starting out, you're probably, like I said, going to make some fairly awkward letters. That's okay. Persevere keep doing it you don't get better at something by not doing it uh, everything takes some practice uh, be sure and check out Dell the airbrushers uh, YouTube channel subscribe to his YouTube channel give him props tell him I sent you I'm sorry it is Dell the airbrush guy Dale the Airbrush Guy. That is his YouTube channel. Go check it out. Uh, this particular video that I saw is called Painting a Graffiti Alphabet. Some of the letters are really different than the way that I normally make letters when I'm writing. And so I had to uh, try them a few times. I had to draw it once and then erase it and draw it again and erase it and draw it again. Uh, don't hesitate to erase. Don't hesitate to just carry on through with it and then try a different method on the next page. I ran out of room on this page, but don't worry. I'm going to finish the alphabet on the next page. Once I got done with these two pages, I felt pretty confident in my ability, so I did the introduction to this video, the art project in graffiti, but I did that after I did what you're seeing here now. And then take a good eraser and erase all the pencil lines in the middle and it'll look really good. I didn't want to put too much effort into this video and make it too long. I mean, I wanted to put a lot of effort in the video, but I didn't want to make it too long by doing things like shadows and highlights and that sort of thing. So that'll be another video for later. 
uh, for this one I just wanted to do the basic graffiti outline and you can make your letters in all sorts of ways this is only you know one of a million different styles in graffiti When I first started drawing block letters, I always thought of the letters as kind of planks that had been laid together and nailed together to make like a a word or to make a letter. So like for the W, there'd be one, two, three, four different planks that have been laid in such a way that it looks like a W. And so that's one of the ways that I think when I'm actually drawing a regular block letter at all and graffiti just kind of takes it a step further and puts a little pizzazz into the letters I even tried out the numbers although I think the style of these numbers is a little bit different than the graffiti style of the letters Don't hesitate to overlap if you are drawing your letters and they are too close to another letter or number. Don't hesitate to just let it overlap the way that 3 is behind that Y. And there it is, my friends. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you can learn something from it. Check out Dale the Airbrush Guy on YouTube. Thanks for watching. It's your turn. Go make some art.